Hello everyone, today I want to make a tutorial on the CSS Foundations course assignment. So if you scroll down here after the lesson, you're going to find the assignment. Number one, you're going to go to the CSS exercise repository to the README session and find the exercise in the Foundations directory. We're going to work from 01 CSS method and end with 06 cascade fix. So let's go to the repository. It's going to open the Auden Project CSS exercise and you're going to come here to Foundations. They want us to solve these exercises. So once you open this page on GitHub, you're going to press code if you're not already there and then this will show up. And this is the area you use to clone the repository to your machine. So you're going to press code. And you have many options you can download, you can open with GitHub Desktop. I have GitHub Desktop, so that's probably what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to choose Open with GitHub Desktop. And I'm just going to open my VS Code and drag the files to VS Code. The first exercise we're going to work on is on Foundations, this number one CSS exercise. So here you have Solution, Desire Outcome, let's see. This is how our page should look like. And we have the readme file. Okay, so if you go through the readme file, you're gonna read all that. And come here to the properties you need to add to each element. You're going to add a div, red background, white text, font size of 32 pixels, center aligned and bold. You're going to add a paragraph, a green background, white text, and a font size of 18 pixels a button, an orange background, and a font size of 18 pixels. And if you go here to the HTML, it will tell you how to do each one. Style me via the external method. I would like to be styled with the internal method, please. Inline method. So the first one, style me via the external method. So the way to do that, we first need to create a connection between the HTML and the CSS. So underneath the title, we're going to link style sheet hrefstyles.css. Now these two should be connected. And for the first one, we're going to style the div on CSS. So we're going to do div. And if we go back to README, we want, I'm just going to copy and paste this. So we remember exactly what to do for each one. I'm going to create a comment. So we want a red background. So let's do background color red. Let's save. Try to open this on our browser. Okay, that worked. So, so far we have connected correctly and set the background color. We want a white text. So color, white, font size, 32 pixels, center aligned, text align center, and bold. You're going to use the font weight property, bold. Let's save and see how that looks. Let's compare to the desired outcome. That looks pretty similar. Now we're going to work on, I would like to be styled with the internal method, please. The internal method, you're gonna go to the HTML file. So what you wanna do is create a style tag in your HTML file and call the element you wanna style as if you were in CSS. So for your P element, we want a green background, background color green, text color is white, font size 18 pixels, and that's it. Now you save, and there you have, let's compare this to the solution, very similar. Now the last part will be the inline method. Let's go back to our HTML file. So for inline method, we add a style tag. We need a orange background color. So background color orange. 
font size 18 pixels. And that's it for our last element. Let's save and see how that looks. Let's refresh. I misspelled style, that's why it's not working. Let's check again. And now we have just like the solution. Very similar. And that's it for the number one CSS methods exercise on the foundations folder.